Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for June 29th of 2022. Well, it is titled Solar System Family Portrait. So what do we see here? Well, here is a picture of all of the planets in the solar system plus our own moon. And we can see them all in the sky right now in the morning sky right before sunrise. Uh, over the last week or so we've had a chance to see all of the planets there. Now some of them are visible to the naked eye and there are the five planets that were originally visible to the naked eye to ancient astronomers. And that would be Mercury way off to the edge on the eastern uh, on the eastern horizon there right before sunrise and you can see the, the sky starting to glow uh, with the early dawn. Uh, next to that and just to the left of that is Venus, the brightest of, of the planets in the sky. Uranus, harder to see. Uh, and in fact, the image has been enhanced to try to show those a little bit better would be there close to our moon. And you can see Luna, our moon there. And then further up into the darker portions of the sky, we see Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, which has also been enhanced to show it. And then finally, Saturn. So all of the planets lining up here uh, to be visible in the morning sky. Now Mercury is really the hardest to be able to see and in fact it's going to be disappearing over the next week or so into the glare of the sun. So if you haven't seen it you're running out of time to if you get a nice clear view of the horizon off to the east right before sunrise you will be able to see Mercury. The other planets will be visible for a longer period of time and we can still see those but they do slowly go about their orbits and will change patterns over the course of time. And in fact Venus will eventually disappear into the sun this fall and will not be able to be seen and will reemerge uh, later this year towards November and December will be visible in the evening as the evening star, star visible right af after sunset. Now we note that the planets do form a line in the sky. This is actually the plane of the solar system. Our solar system is very flat. So if you've ever drawn a solar system on a piece of paper, that's actually a pretty good approximation to what our solar system looks like. And we call this the plane of the ecliptic. It's actually the path that the sun would take over the course of the year. And the moon and the planets would follow along this same same path, passing through the constellation of the zodiac. So the zodiacal constellations, not the brightest constellations in the sky necessarily. In fact, some of them are relatively faint, but important because of the location of the in the sky that they are those that the sun, moon and planets will pass through over the course of a year. So that was our picture of the day for June 29th of 2022. It was titled Solar System Family Portrait We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.